Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. Today I'm getting my winter sewing project started and this is something that I do every single year. It is so easy. If you're wanting to start some seeds this year but you don't have all of the seed starting trays or grow lights or seed starting mix, this is a really easy way to get started with seed starting and it's a really cheap way. So I'm gonna go through my whole process on how I do this but first I wanna share with you the varieties I'll be starting today. So I have five varieties that I'm starting today. I have five milk jugs, which is what you use when you do winter sewing. As I get more milk jugs, I may add additional varieties too, uh, but these are the five that I'm starting with today. Some of the things that tend to work best for winter sewing are those cooler crops. If you're doing vegetables, things like kale or lettuce, those cool crops work really good with winter sewing. If you're doing flowers, perennials or hardy annuals work really good with winter sewing. So those are what I'm starting today. So here's the five varieties that I'm going to be doing. The first one is the Fama White Pincushion Flower. Now I am in zone 5A in Northwest Iowa, so this is a perennial in my area. And I grew this for the first time last year and absolutely loved it. So this year I'm going to be adding more of the Fama White to my garden and I'm gonna be adding the Fama Blue. But for the winter sowing, I have some leftover seeds from last year, so I'm going to be doing one jug of the Fama White. Another hardy annual that is a perennial in my area is yarrow, and these seeds are from Baker Creek. This is the Polish pastels mix. I have a lot of yarrow out in the cutting garden already, but um, there's an area along the side of the building that uh, I either need to take out and redo or I need to start a whole nother area. So regardless, I wanna start a lot more yarrow this year. So I thought the winter sowing would be perfect um, to start yarrow. And uh, yarrow also, if I didn't mention mention it, it does perennialize in my area as well. Uh, another one that will perennialize in my area is Rudbeckia. Now, not all Rudbeckia says that it will winter over in zone five. Um, and actually the Sahara says that it will not, but for me, it has. Sahara Rudbeckia is also one of my favorite varieties to grow for cut flower bouquets. I want to add a lot more into the garden this year, and so I thought this would be the perfect time um, to start some because Rebecca works really good with winter sowing. All right, a couple of annuals. The first one is Dara or the flowering carrot. Now, Dara is similar to Ami or it looks like uh, Queen Anne's lace, which grows wild in a lot of places. It does here. Only Dara has the tones of pinks and burgundies and deep purples. It's super pretty, it's very productive, it grows really long stems, and so um, this is one I wanna have a big patch of this year. It's also a hardy annual, so I will be um, starting this today. And then the last one that I'm starting today, which is also an annual, is straw flower. Um, and the one that I chose to start is the creamy white straw flower. Uh, I grow straw flowers for the cut flower bouquets, but I mainly grow them for dried flowers. So I have a whole range of colors I'll be growing this year, but the creamy white is some seeds that were left over from last year. So I thought that I would just throw these in the milk jug and see how they do. Okay, so first before I can get planting in the milk jug, I need to get them ready. And these are going to act basically like um, a little greenhouse. We're going to fill it up a little bit with soil and the seeds are going to live in here outside over the winter and they're going to come to life naturally as it warms up in the spring. You always wanna make sure that you leave the lid off because that is how moisture gets in here to water them. And uh, you always wanna make sure to use uh, you know, milk jugs or containers that are lightly frosted or clear because you need the light to get inside. Don't ever use an opaque one um, or it won't work. So milk jugs actually are perfect and they're very easy to cut because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, my razor blade or scissors. I happen to have these razor blades on hand so they're really easy to cut with. I wanna leave part of it so that it flips open and stays connected because uh, it's easier to put back together that way. But basically, I'm just gonna slit around and it doesn't have to be perfect. 
Okay, so I cut most of the way around the milk jug. So see the lid just flips open and then the soil is going to go down in here. That's where my seeds are gonna go. But I also wanna cut a few holes in the bottom. You don't want your milk jugs to get waterlogged. You want them to be able to drain. I'm gonna put a little slit and then kind of turn it a little bit. Okay, so I have four holes in the bottom and my lid is ready to go. I'm gonna cut the rest of these, then we're gonna get the soil in here. Okay, so all five of my milk jugs are cut. Again, they just flip open and we will be sealing these once the dirt is inside, or soil, not dirt. You wanna make sure to use soil. Uh, so that's actually the next step. We're gonna put soil in the bottom part of the milk jugs and then we're gonna get ready to plant the seeds. All right, so my potting soil is in the milk jug. If you have really dry soil, you wanna make sure to pre-moisten it because that just helps it right off the bat stay moist. This actually has quite a bit of moisture in it already, so I'm not gonna pre-moisten it, but once we get the seeds in here, I am going to mist it down. And then you just want to make sure once we get it outside, which I'll go over this kind of when we get to that point, you do wanna check on them once in a while. Um, they pretty much will you know, just do their own thing, but you do wanna check on them just to make sure that they are getting any rain or snow that is outside because that is what's going to water them throughout the winter. I think we're gonna start with the creamy white straw flower, and I'm going to be marking the outside of the container, but sometimes that will fade, so I always like to put a little marker on the inside. These are just uh, small plant labels, and then I use garden markers. I have these linked in my Amazon link in the description of the video. These are so much better than Sharpies because these will not fade like a Sharpie will over time. And we'll put it right on the edge of the container. Now when you are starting these seeds, you always want to look on the seed packet and follow the directions. So this says, do not cover seed as light aids in germination. So that is the easiest way to sow seeds. Basically, all we're gonna do is sprinkle them on top of the soil and then I'll mist them in. And with winter sowing, you can sow quite a bit heavier than you would um, normal seed starting. You know, if you were doing like soil blocks or in um, a cell tray, you'd wanna do one or two seeds per cell. When you're doing this winter sowing, I just kind of take the seeds and drop a whole bunch all over, I dropped one on my table there, all around in the milk jug. And I know there's some stuck in the corner in here. There we go. So I'm just gonna kind of dump the rest in. So straw flour is done. Now this is a really handy mister. This also came off of Amazon. You just pump it a few times and it's a constant flow. I'm just really going to saturate the top of that soil. This will keep things moist off the bat, but it's also going to um, settle the seeds right on top of the soil. So the next thing we're going to do is seal this up. Duct tape is something really easy to use. Um, packaging tape can sometimes work. You just want a really heavy duty sticky tape that's going to keep this together while it's outside for the rest of winter. Okay, that is nice and sealed up. So then I'm going to again take my garden marker and I'm going to write up on the top here um, and I might even write on the tape in both spots just because it might wear off a little bit. And if it does wear off a little bit, that's okay because my tag is on the inside. But this way, if it's sitting down in the snow, I can easily see from the top what it is. So the straw flower's done. It's so easy. Now, as far as sowing my other varieties, um, the yarrow says surface sow, so I will sprinkle this on top of the soil just like the others. Um, the Rebecca and the Dara, I know, um, are not surface sown. Yep, so they're an eighth of an inch deep. So let's go ahead and do one of those and I'll show you how I do that. All right, so this is the Sahara Rebecca. 
Now I did mention you always want to use potting soil when you do this. One year I did use um, seed starting mix on accident and it worked okay. I don't think that I had near as good of turnout. Um, with seed starting mix, they, it dries out a lot faster. So I remember I had to really make sure things stayed moist. Um, potting soil will hold moisture a lot better. So you definitely want to use potting soil when you are doing this. All right, so this is an eighth of an inch deep. And this is last year's seed. And so I'm going to just use the whole packet again because I know I ordered more for this year. Let me turn this so you guys can see it. So basically, I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of the soil just like I did with the straw flower. Kind of try to spread it around a little bit. There we go. Couple of seeds on the table. And then I'm just gonna kinda rough up the soil a little bit just to turn the seeds into the soil, just a little bit. And then once again, I'm gonna mist it in. All right, Rebecca is done. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this up. I'm gonna do my other three jugs and then I will show you where I'm going to be keeping these outside over the winter um, to let them grow on until spring. Okay, so all five of the milk jugs are full with my seeds. Um, I did look up the Fama White and that is also a surface sown seed. So three of them I just sprinkled on the surface and the other ones I just lightly mixed up the soil. So they all were really easy and it was a really fast project. Now again, the best type of seeds to start for this project are cool season seeds. So vegetables, you know, things like lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, um, kale is a really easy one. And then hardy annuals and perennials, things that can tolerate the cool weather. Um, if you're not familiar with hardy annuals, it's cool season annuals. So things that come up really early in the season, like everything I started. Also, sweet peas are good, bachelor buttons, um, snapdragons, things like that. Uh, Although I have never tried it, I don't think things like tomatoes, peppers, zinnias, sunflowers, those type of things are not gonna do well with this method. But uh, this is a really easy method and now I pretty much just set it and forget it and we'll check on them in the spring. So I'm gonna take these outside and then I will show you with the camera where these are going to set. All right, so we're outside and this is where these are gonna live till spring. Uh, just for reference, we are right next to the greenhouse. The hoop house is over there. So I decided to nestle these down in the snow. They're gonna be protected and sheltered from the wind a little bit. You wanna make sure that your milk jugs do not blow away because then that'll make the soil go everywhere and it won't work. You also wanna make sure that they are fully exposed so that they can get any rain or snow that comes down because that is what is going to water them. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this quick and easy project that I do every single year. I will make sure to do a video in the spring. I'm kind of revealing the results. We'll open up the milk jugs together and we'll see how they are growing. And then you'll be able to see too if I've added any additional ones to that. I kind of think I want to do a few more as we empty you know, some milk at home, but we'll see. Um, there's plenty of time to still add some to the pile. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good winter and stay tuned for a lot more projects throughout the winter. Um, I'm almost done with my whole garden plan, so I will be sharing that very soon. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.